Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier today I let you know that my installation of Windows 11 24H2 went relatively well, where I had no major issues since using the Update Assistant to install this year's annual feature update, except I had a problem with my screen recorder which I have since replaced. Now that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. But just to let you know, although the installation went well for me, that there is a list of official known issues, six in total actually, that Microsoft has announced and confirmed over on their known issues health dashboard page. So I thought just a quick video to give you a couple of reasons why you may not want to force install Windows 11 24 H2 just yet, or if you are not seeing the update on your Windows update page because it is now becoming generally available, so if you're not seeing the update, this could also be a reason why. Now, as you may well know, Microsoft puts safeguard holds in place to protect devices, which can have issues regarding installed applications with incompatibility, hardware issues, driver issues, or a known issue. So that's a good reason why you may not be seeing it on your Windows update page, although it is on a, on a controlled rollout. But if you are like me and you kind of forced installed it using the update assistant because I do that for the purpose of this channel so I can inform you guys about the update and um, then here's a couple of reasons why you may not want to force install or install the annual feature update just yet. Now if we head over to the known issues health dashboard page here we can see there are six known issues in total and I'm just going to go through these quickly. The first is there's a safeguard hold on safe exam browser application might fail to open devices running version 3.7 or lower versions of this app are incompatible with the update some devices using easy anti-cheat stop responding and receive a blue screen older driver versions of the easy anti-cheat application are incompatible fingerprint sensors might experience problems after a device is locked several device models are affected Wallpaper customization apps might not work as expected. Multiple applications are affected. Compatibility issues with Intel smart sound technology drivers and Windows 11 version 24H2 devices with the affected Intel SSD driver might receive an error with a blue screen. Now, I think this could have been affecting me with my screen recorder. And I'm just going to pause here quickly. And for this one, if you want to check if you have these Intel um, smart sound technology drivers and you maybe have installed the update and you're getting blue screens or you just want to know where you can actually just double check this we just right click on start head to our device manager and if you are running an intel based system head over to sound video and game controllers and yeah if you just double click on any of those you will get your driver version as well and you can see if you have those intel smart sound technology drivers installed so that's just a quick way you can check that out and then the sixth um, known issue is Asphalt 8 might periodically stop responding. So all of these um, known issues, if you have any of these um, problems with your device, there is a compatibility hold on your device, as mentioned, a safeguard hold. So that's why you may just want to hold off, kind of force installing the update using the update assistant or the media creation tool or using an ISO image file. And as mentioned, if you're not seeing the update um, on this page, that could be a reason why. So I'm just posting this video to give you a heads up. Use this as a checklist. And um, obviously, if I get any more info and any of these known issues and uh, Microsoft does resolve, I'll post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.